Hi friends, today I'm gonna show you how to create a multilingual site using Drupal 7.7. .7. So first let's go to Drupal site and download Drupal 7.7, .7, the latest version. And we need few modules to work with internationalization that is I-18 or we say internationalization and download the latest version which is 7.1 7 and we need variable module download the variable module and finally this is an optional that is localization update which update your Drupal site with the localized version from the Drupal server I mean localized server so download that and that's it now close there and let's go to our MAMP in the local site that is MAMP and HDDocs and here let's drag and drop the Drupal site that is I mean the Drupal that is 7.7 .7. so I just drop here the Drupal 7.7 .7 and untar the Drupal 7.7 .7 and just trash the tar version and I just rename this to multilingual multilingual so and then I open the Drupal 7.7 .7, that is now I rename to multilingual and go to sites or modules and here I drag and drop other three modules I have downloaded from the Drupal site and untar them there so and we don't need these tar version of those modules so we delete them and now we have three modules and our new Drupal site so that's all we have to do here now and we close this and now we go to our server I'm using Mac so it's my MAMP and if you're using on Windows it's a XAMPP so here I'm gonna create a new database called say multilingual and create and I'm gonna create a new user for that database called multilingual and on host is localhost and password for the database user and then we check all for giving global privileges and click and now let's go to the browser here and type multilingual which is the site we just created and now we are going to install our Drupal 7.7 .7. so if you want to install the Drupal 7 with another language from the beginning itself you can download the localized version of Drupal and you can start working on that but for this purpose I am using the English and let's continue click standard save and continue and here I'm using English because I haven't tried any other language for the from the beginning we will be using the language later first we gonna install the language in default English click save and continue and here let's enter our database name and database username and then password
we just call it as multilingual site and enter the email address and your username so I recommend not to use the username admin though I use it now for this purpose but for because this is the username normally everyone use and there are chances maybe it's not that secure so click everything ok and then we go to the site and we are going to visit our new site Drupal 7.7 .7. so first let's go to the reports and status report and you can see we have installed Drupal 7.7 .7 and access to update.php is protected all the files are secure and fine and up to date and I also make sure that the database the PHP version everything is up to date and now let's go to modules let's enable content translation and scroll down then locale and scroll down this is the third party module or which we have downloaded from their international localization update and block languages field translation internationalization menu translation multilingual content and multilingual select string translation if you want path translation you can use it I am not using for this now and if you want a synchronized translation like taxonomy or things okay we'll swap and taxonomy translation translation redirect and translation set variable translation and from here we have to choose variable and variable admin yeah and yeah let's choose all this if you don't want to use these two options you don't need to choose it just click save configuration and then it will be saying that if you want to choose and add something extra then you can see here so here you can see that you have we have to enable some extra module that is you must enable the variable store to variable realm to install variable translation so if you want to translate the variable um, if you want to install the variable translation you have to enable variable store and variable realm okay let's click continue and it will be enabled by default or by Drupal so now we have installed all the modules and let's now go to the configuration and scroll down and now you can see languages, translate, translate interface and multilingual settings, translation sets. Four new section for language settings are created. So first let's go to the languages section and you can see a built-in language which is English already there. Now let's go and add a new language, maybe let's say Korean. So let's add Korean so when you click add the language Korean it will be importing the translation from the Drupal site to this the reason is that we have already enabled the locale or i10 module which is the automatic translation module which fix the translation from the Drupal site so here you can see that let's click edit and if you want to change the path of this one from K O to K R something like that you can do that and then let's add one more language here this time I add Japanese and click add language
okay we have successfully added two languages and uh, now let's say detection and selection tab this is the important thing you have to remember that is even if you have specified the path that is J A and K O and E N like here like multilingual slash E N or K O actually even if you write it doesn't work the reason is that we haven't specified or we haven't sp specified uh, path as the detection so here it is by default so it uses only the English version so what we have to do here is use the URL enabled and user that means the preference for example when you go to your account section here and you can when you click the edit button you will get an option for changing the language so if you choose Japanese and when you come back to the site and when you save here if you wanna see the site in Japanese you can't see because you haven't enabled the system here and you have to adjust this to the first so first it will be checking like this whether the user enabled language is uh, English or any other Japanese or Korean then if it is not then it will check whether the URL is by the path and it goes through all these checking process and then it validates or it gives the URL which we enable so here we choose path or URL so now if you click here I mean if you type in any language for example let's say K O that is Korean sorry K R now you can see the site is in Korean and if I type in here J A for Japanese it's in Japanese now and if I type in E N it's in English but you can see that page not found because we haven't we don't need to type in here E N because that's a default language so you got the idea now so next thing how do we create a content so also there are some more configurations here translation updates so how do you want to translate update the translation and where you want to store the translation of the file so I recommend you to create these translations separately in the sites all translations so make a file called translations and click save so all the files will be saved here under this directory sites all translations so that it will be easy for you to keep the translation files separate from other files and you can keep the backup and update the files later so next we go back to the configuration again and go down and multilingual settings here you can see language for content which you want so check enable languages only or all the defined language leave that as default and section this is like select node by language, select taxonomy by term, keep all these things as default and under variables. This is very important like if you want to translate the system specific for example the pages or the site name this is very important maybe you have a site name like multilingual but maybe in Korean you want to say not multilingual in Korean something else which is equal to multilingual in Korean language so in that time you have if you want to get a translation I will show you how to do that later so here enable site language site name and like for not for page and things like that so first for this section I just show you only the site name and just click save configuration you can enable all those things you want to get the things to be translated in other languages then here node option so th what they say is hide content translation links now I'm not going to hide this later I will come back and show you this one so leave all those things as default and here nothing to choose whether you want to translate the text in full HTML or, or 